we don't often think about the quality of the roadways we drive on until we feel that monstrous dip, Olympic ski jump bump, or car eater pothole. That's when some of us start to wonder what materials actually go into making a road. It all begins with the guys in the quarry, really. The product starts there. Well, this is ground zero for all asphalt and, and concrete and that kind of stuff. Uh, it'll all start with the clearing of land and then stripping. And uh, then there'd be the drilling and then the blasting. As you can see, the big pile it has been blasted. The loader feeds it into the rock trucks. The rock trucks will take it up to the hill. And uh, that's where I guess where I take over in the control tower. And uh, from there, it's all about production. The rock trucks, they bring the material up to the crusher. Make it bigger, crusher smaller, keep crushing until it gets to the size we want. Definitely the stone and crushing is a, is a core, core start to, to what we see out here. The density of the rock is what uh, stands us alone from others. It takes 121,000 pounds to break a square inch in a crusher. So with the railway ballast, when the trains are basically traveling over it, it's not crushing it. It lasts much longer. It's basically a twice the lifespan of any general rock that you can get anywhere else other than trap rock. Uh, the rock speaks for itself. That drives the demand of, of the sales. At uh, our Harvey pit, we're dredging out sand to uh a depth of about 65 feet here. We used to dig before with uh, shovels and like I said we couldn't access it so now with the dredge here we'll be able to access it as the years go by. The dredge was a, an excellent acquisition seeing that now we're able to extract sand where we haven't been able to in the past and where basically some of our competition has not been able to and we're getting a quality product that's been hidden. So this brings out the raw material, just stone, sand, everything loader and trucks truck it to the wash plant and then the wash plant separates it into different grades of sand, different sizes. So what we try and do here is you got to have so many grains in your sand so you just try and monitor that and that's where the dial split comes in to make it a lot more uh, precise where we can take out some of the finer stuff to keep in the coarser material. We try and extract every little bit that we can and try and waste nothing. So here what we do is uh, we bring in aggregates, so we bring in our, our sands, um, the quarry group crushes their aggregate here in the Stittsville quarry which is right next door. We get it delivered here at the plants, concrete mixture is chosen, we mix that with the sand which is another aggregate source that we buy from Tomlinson, some cement, some water, some admixtures and depending on the different dosages that we require we can create different mixes joints for, for different applications. To, build bridges, foundations for buildings and hospitals, schools, all that stuff, so it's uh, everything can be done here. When needed, we can actually load two trucks at the same time, meaning on the wet side and the dry side, makes us a little bit quicker and uh, we can push material out and adjust for speed. This is what we do, day in, day out. We have an hour and a half from the time that truck is batched to make sure that that concrete is in the element. Based on uh, production schedules and everything like that, it can be very hectic, especially uh, foremen. They're trying to get the material into the element, make sure it's finished properly, it looks good. You know, they need a certain workability of the product, and uh, we're here to ensure that uh, that's delivered within the specifications governed. The right product is being shipped out to the people in the field uh, laying it down, then quality control will be achieved. So if, if we're giving the right information to the foreman so that they're keeping everything in the proper specs, then the whole job gets done properly. The expertise the foremen have out here and the, uh, and the guys actually running the equipment, you know, some of the best in the city. Best in the country, really, you know. They, uh, they don't go anywhere else. They know that they have the best equipment to work with and they're dedicated to working for Tomlinson and getting the best product down. Tomlinson's been a mainstay in Ottawa for so long. They have become the experts in this type of construction. We just depend on them. We tell the asphalt plants what, what products to put in the mix. So from there, we can make small, minor adjustments to all his feeds, his aggregate feeds, to get the product better in compliance. If you don't care about what you do, it'll be reflected in the products going out. Our goal from day one is to be the highest rated contractor in the city of Ottawa. That takes a full team effort from project managers to office staff, to asphalt plants giving us quality material, to quarries giving us quality material, to the man in the field, to the laborers, to public relations, to dealing with everybody from one end of the job to the other. And I'm quite confident that we will be the number one rated contractor in the city of Ottawa. 
With more than 35 years of experience in top-level construction in Eastern Ontario, Tomlinson continues to invest quality into all jobs. But it's the interdivisional collaboration throughout the Tomlinson Group that allows Tomlinson to excel above the competition. We want to do our best work because the public will be traveling on these particular bridges. So I, I like to think that, you know, people sometimes do realize that when they do cross a bridge or a new structure, or a, a new road, that uh, realize a lot of the amount of work that went into that. When we do something like this, it affects the city, it affects uh, everybody that's going to use the infrastructure. And I tell everybody I work with that every one of us and every one of these workers are building the city and we should all be very proud of it because we are definitely impacting the city in a positive way. It doesn't matter if you're dealing with a guy at the quarry, uh, a, a guy who's uh, coordinating, uh, financing, everybody that you're dealing with, uh, they're, giving, they're, they're working with passion. They're a great supplier, we use them on a regular basis and you know, we just don't have to worry about it. They're, just, they're there and you never worry about what they're doing. Anytime we, we, we've had a, an immediate requirement for one of their services, I just can't say, we pick up the phone and um, they just respond immediately and it helps. In our business, you know, every, every minute that goes by can cost you a lot of money. So Tomlinson's just a unique uh, company all the way through and we love dealing with them. It's been a pleasure as an Ottawa boy to watch Tomlinson grow at the rate that they've grown and uh, you know, common jokes in the industry is, well, chances are Tomlinson's involved and, and it's an interesting fact that they are involved in almost everything that goes on in Ottawa now and uh, it's comforting. It, it's good to know that a good company has done well and that they've set good standards and we try to align ourselves with companies just like that.